Okay, this is part two to the uh, coolest trick on earth. Uh, I've had never had so much positive feedback from you folks, and it kind of amazed me. I guess it's because I've cleaned so many thousands of lenses over the years. That's the, the secret way to actually clean lenses. And uh, I want to go over part two of this, especially if you have a large front element. Uh, there's a trick to that also. Every I, I've just thousands of people respond like, "Oh my God, I've been cleaning for lenses for years, and I sit there and clean and clean and clean on there be a streak and clean and clean and clean." And he made this uh, video about how to clean your lenses, and as soon as I do it, then boom, it's clean instantly. So um, on larger elements, there's a slight variation on this. Obviously, I've got distilled water over here in this tiny little beaker. What I do is I take it out, I'll roll it off on a very clean towel, the excess, and uh, what you do on a larger element, and I make sure there's no excess here, is I'll roll around to the periphery of the lens so you're cleaning in a circular way like this. The uh, Depending on the humidity that you actually have in your house or wherever it is you're living at, is to go around it before the, uh, the uh, distilled water. Just don't use tap water. Just use distilled water, purified water, or some of that expensive crap from some, you know, uh, Icelandic arsehole spring, you know, that's really expensive. That works fine, too. <laughs> As you work your way around to the periphery, since it's a much larger element, since you can't do the whole lens before it dries, you grab yourself another Q-tip, get the cheap cotton ones from the dollar store, obviously. Then, after you've uh, cleaned the exterior, section of the lens then what you do is you work on the interior of the lens and remember this is the circular doesn't matter if it's clockwise or counterclockwise but this is the secret to getting your lens I'm cleaning a filter here but it doesn't matter if it's a filter of the lens so then you work your way work your way inward and outward like I'm doing here usually so on a larger element I'll rotate the entire lens so I can keep the motion going I'll flip around the q-tip to the dry spot. This uh, filter had some speckles on it, but the same thing applies to uh, the lens. So, yeah, it is blue on it. Doesn't matter. Um, it's a filter, although it is air coated. Now, these are actually a couple coating marks underneath there. That's actually not on the filter. It's actually a coating missing mark because this is a used lens, and so there's that's not dust. It looks like there's dust right there, but there isn't. So this is. Perfectly clean. Should have brought my blower out with me, but this is a demonstration. So that's perfectly spotless, awesome, beautiful. All those spots are moved. So that's the secret trick that so many people have just gone, Oh my god, I finally figured out how to clean my lens really quickly and efficiently. I've never seen so much positive feedback. I mean, I know no one else was talking about it, but I thought how big of a mystery it could have been, but apparently it was. Um, so if you have a much larger front element like that, that's the way you do it. You don't try to do the whole lens at once because what will happen is it will dry out before you get to all of it. Work on the outside first and then work on the inside because there's just too, sur too much surface area to hit at once. So do it in two stages and that's the trick to that. Right? Get it? Got it? Good. Okay, catch you later. I'm going to go eat some more of those uh, dangerous uh, shortbread cookies because if I don't, they're going to they're gonna stop me while I sleep and stab me in the back. <laughs> oh my god, those things are dangerously good. Uh, catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.